Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. My name is Rachel. Today is Flexibility Friday, so if you tuned in last week, you know what that means, but for those of you that are new, on Fridays we are getting flexible. So last week we did a nice practice for our upper body, and today we're getting into our lower body. So find some space, find your mat if you've got one, and let's start stretching out our hips, quads, hamstrings, all that lower body area. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up button, and leave a comment. Let's get started, you guys. All right, so we're gonna start laying down on our backs today. So make your way on down, and you're gonna pull the right knee into your chest and just let the left leg or the left foot find the mat. Starting to straighten the right leg, you can hang on to the back of your quad or maybe slide your hands up the back of your leg. If anybody does have a strap or a towel or anything like that, you could place that onto the foot to help make your arms a little bit longer. But most importantly, I want you to just relax your upper body. So your shoulders, your head are resting on the mat. And you're just feeling a nice stretch to the back of that leg. So stay here for another breath. And then you can start to bend that uh, right knee, send that leg out long, and we're just gonna roll onto our right side, our right hip. So you can come up onto your forearm, find your right hip, and then you're gonna reach back for your left foot and encourage that foot or the heel towards your glute, getting into your quad. So if you feel this stretch in your quad by bringing your heel towards your glute, stay here if you want more you could try to bring your left hip down and your foot down so instead of sitting on your heel though bring it to the outside of your hip that's gonna let your hip come all the way down to the mat and then from here you could stay on your forearms you could even be sitting up like this or maybe you can lay all the way down and even plant your right foot that's just gonna take things slightly further by squaring the hips to the mat a little bit but wherever you need to be to feel a quad stretch find that position we're gonna stay for just one more nice deep breath and then we're gonna start to make our way back down onto our back. So if you did have that leg tucking under you, bring it out, lay down again. Your left knee is gonna come into your chest and then you're gonna start to extend that leg up towards the ceiling. So hanging onto the back of the quad or the calf or the foot, maybe using your towel or your strap if you've got one. But this really is a no props class, so don't worry about if you don't have anything but your own body. <laughs> Just relaxing the shoulders, the head. nice and slowly you can start to let go bring that left leg out nice and long roll onto your left side this time so find your forearm start by reaching back for your right foot getting into that quad as you stay here or maybe trying to bring that right hip down the right foot would be beside your beside your hip and then you could lay down or stand your forearms sit up whatever works best for you and then feel free to plant that left foot if you want to take things just that much further and 
taking your last nice big breath on this side. And then you can start to make your way out of your quad stretch. So let your legs go out nice and long and then bring them in, cross your ankles, come up onto your hands and knees. We're moving into our lunge, into our hip flexors. So that right foot's gonna come forward. <clears throat> so your hips might be over top of your back knee, but I want you to try and push them forward a little bit. So as you are able to push those hips forward, adjust where your front foot's going. So as far as those hips come forward, I want your front knee over top of your front ankle still. So if you're coming really far forward, just move your foot, your front foot forward as well. And then once you're happy with where your legs are in the lunge, bring your hands to the mat and then really just sink the hips down and forward here. You can keep the hands on the mat if you're feeling a really awesome stretch. If you do want to bring your hands up to your knee, you could give it a try. A little bit more work to balance because you're not using your hands anymore. Still getting a really good stretch through the hip, but I want you just to relax your upper body. Wherever you are, just try to Take all that tension out of your shoulders. Try not to hold yourself up out of the hip stretch and just let your hips kind of fall as far as they want to. They're only gonna go as far as your body will let them. So just, just breathe. Awesome work, you guys. So we're gonna bring our hands down if they're on your knee. Send your hips backwards just enough so that you take all that stretch out of the hip flexor and you start to straighten that front leg. We're gonna get into our hamstring one more time. So half splits. So as you straighten this front leg, you can keep your foot completely relaxed if you're feeling a stretch. If you're not though, or if you just wanna take it further, start to flex the foot. Pull your toes back towards your forehead and then you can drop your chest towards your knee if you want to but feeling a nice stretch of the back of that leg Nice work, you guys. So let's bend back into that front knee, except this time we're gonna bring the right foot over to the edge of our mat. So heel toe your foot over to the right side, bring your hands to the inside of that foot, and still think about lowering your hips towards the mat. This is lizard, this is lizard. So you're just trying to lower the hips down, your knees just kind of flaring out to the side a little bit. You can find your forearms or you could stay on your hands, but we're getting into that right hip, that glute, that quad. You might even be feeling this to the left side, all over, lizard pose. So you guys can stay here if you're happy with what you're feeling. If anybody wants to try to add a quad stretch into this one though, it is quite intense and you might not be able to grab your foot, but you can give it a try for sure. So you're gonna come back up onto your hands. Your left hand is going to kind of find the edge of your mat. So your right foot's on the right side, your left hand's on the left side, and then you're gonna take your right hand. You're kind of twisting here and you're reaching back for your foot. So don't worry if you can't grab your foot, just bring both your hands back down to the mat for your lizard. But if you can get your foot or if you've got a strap or a towel, you could hook around your foot to bring your heel towards your glute. It's a really, really good, intense quad stretch, but you're still trying to drop your hips towards the mat. So if you're creeping up, if you're pushing the hips back, send them forward again. You're getting into the hips, you're getting into the quad, you're getting into a little bit of everything. So if you've got your foot right now, start to let go. Bring your hands to the mat again. Walk that foot back to the middle and then send it all the way back. We're gonna take child's pose, except child's pose could look a little different if you wanted to. Your knees are gonna come out nice and wide. You're gonna start to drop your forehead down. Your arms can be above your head. And then from here, your big toes might be together, which is how we usually are in child's pose. But if you want to get into your hips, 
You're gonna bring your feet out wider, maybe even parallel to the edges of your mat, but you're still sending the hips back towards the heels like you're in child pose. Awesome, you guys start to lift yourself back up. Let's go to the other side. So your left foot's gonna come forward for the lunge. So again, taking a second to send the hips forwards and then adjusting the front foot, the front knee, making sure they're stacking over top of one another. And when you've found that nice low lunge, you're getting into the hip flexor. You can keep your hands on the mat. You can bring your hands up to your knee, wherever you wanna be. This is a few breath here. Softening those hips. Relaxing your entire upper body. Awesome work, you guys. Let's take one more inhale. And then bring your hands down as you exhale, sending your hips backwards just enough to straighten that front leg as much as you can. Maybe pulling the toes back towards the forehead, half splits. Just stay for another three breath or so on this side, feeling that hamstring. And then you can start to bend back into your front knee, heel toe, that left foot over to the side, bringing your hands to the inside of that foot. That's, that knee is just kind of falling out to the side a little bit. Lizard, trying to lower the hips as low as you can towards the mat, maybe finding your forearms or staying up on your hands. Taking a few breaths here before we add the quad stretch if you went for it on the other side. So feel free to stay here in your lizard or start to add a lizard twist, lizard quad stretch. So take that right hand, rest it on the edge of your mat. Left hand's reaching back for the right foot. So you're twisting a little bit here. You could add the twist and skip the quad stretch, but if you can reach for the heel or the foot and then bring the heel towards the glute, whoo, depending on how tight you are in the quads, it's usually a pretty, pretty awesome stretch. Nice job, you guys start to let that foot go if you've got it. Bring your hands back down, heel toe, your foot back to the middle and then send that knee back in underneath. We're going to come into a wide-legged straddle. So you can sit down. I like to turn lengthwise on my mat so that I bring my legs out wide and they stay on my mat, but it doesn't matter which way you face. Bring your legs out nice and wide, so as wide as you can. We're gonna start by sitting nice and tall. So wherever you feel more supported, place your hands. They can be behind you. They could be in front of you. Either one. Just taking a few breaths here before we start to fold forward. So if you're already feeling that stretch to your inner legs, perfect. If you want a little bit more, you can start to tip forward. Start to tip forward. If you feel like you are leaning backwards, if you're falling backwards and you've got a pillow or a towel or anything like that, you could just stick under your butt a little bit. It's just gonna help you tip the pelvis and fold forward instead of falling backwards. So you could give that a try. And just being nice to your knees in this one, I feel like flexing my feet takes some pressure out of my knees. You could try to bend your knees here. And if that doesn't work, if you're still getting discomfort in the knees, just bring your legs a little bit closer together.
Nice job, you guys. So let's start to come back up if you are folding forward. Bring your hands to the outside of your legs. Help them come back together. We're gonna lay down on our backs again for thread the needle to get into our glute one more time. So plant the left foot, cross the right over top of the left, and then you can lift that left foot up into the air. Hang on to the back of your quad again and just sticking your right arm through that hole that your legs are making and encouraging your legs towards your chest. Feeling this and that, well, that right hip, that glute, that quad. Just taking one more breath. And then you can start to switch sides. So that left foot will come down, uncross your legs, and then bring the left over the right this time. Hanging on to the back of that right quad or maybe your shin. Hugging the legs in towards the chest. work you guys start to bring that right foot all the way down uncross your legs roll to the side or rock up to seated find that comfy seated position cross-legged or on your knees bringing your hands together at heart center that is all for today you guys a nice lower body stretch happy friday if it's friday for you it's friday for me <laughs> Regardless, have a great rest of your day and until we see each other again, namaste.